viewers the latest news about ethiopia amhara afar and tigray region is that viewers we are receiving several reports regarding the ongoing war in afar region between afar forces its allies and tigray defense force which i will share with you in this video and apart from this many reports are being received that ethiopian air force is again carried out heavy air strikes by drones on the capital of tigray region makle we were almost 2 hours ago we received reports from sources that drones of ethiopian air force are present in the air space of makle and carried out heavy air strikes on many areas and complete details are not yet being received that there is a risk of financial loss as well as loss of life due to the air strikes was on the other hand according to the reports the ongoing fighting in the afar region has captured many areas and on several fronts still a heavy battle is going on between afar forces its allies and tigray defense force and reports have been received from tigray defense force sources that tigray defense force soldiers have reached near the main road connecting ethiopia and djibouti and tigray defense force soldiers trying to gain control on main road for which they have tried many times before in addition a video has been shared by tigray defense force in which the soldiers of ethiopian national defense force can be seen under the control of tigray defense force this video i will share with you right now which reports have been received from tigray defense force sources that these are fresh prisoners of war who are captured by tigray defense force from battlefield but no confirmed reports have been received yet about which front tigray defense force has captured the soldiers of ethiopian national defense force first in this video can be seen that several soldiers are under tigray defense force control who are wearing ethiopian national defense force uniform which shows that these are soldiers of ethiopian national defense force let's watch the video then we we'll talk further Whereas on the other hand, heavy fighting is ongoing on several fronts between the Oromo Liberation Army and the Ethiopian Army. In the previous video, I had informed you in detail that, on behalf of Oromo Liberation Army, claimed that. Romo Liberation Army has won several victories against the Ethiopian army and several Ethiopian army soldiers have been killed and have gained control over several more areas and the soldiers of Romo Liberation Army are heading towards several areas on the other hand reports are being received that Romo Liberation Army has closed the road leading to Addis Ababa due to which the fight has become more intense between Oromo Liberation Army and Ethiopian Army viewers on the other hand Amina Muhammad deputy secretary general of the United Nations said she encouraged the federal government to hold peace talks with all the stakeholders to end the ongoing human atrocities and the united nation deputy chief said this in a short press briefing she gave the local journalist at addis ababa bole international report this afternoon 
Here Miss Amina ended her visit to Ethiopia which started on 5th February. She also attended on behalf of the Security General the 35th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union and during her stay she visited the three regional states devastated by Ethiopia's ongoing civil war and interacted with a range of stakeholders including Dr. Debretson Gabriel Michael, the leader of Tigray state. And I have been to the three regions of Far, Amhara and Tigray. He said, I met the Tigray People Liberation Front and the other regional leaders. I encourage the federal government to hold peace talks with all the stakeholders to end the ongoing human atrocities. She told reporters, adding that children and women have been most vulnerable to the ongoing conflict. Whereas Ms. Amina's visit came in the heels of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres' latest call for cessation of hostilities to end Ethiopia's 15 months old civil war. Shortly brief his departure to attend the Winter Olympic Games Beijing 2022 on 1st February, the United Nations chief has issued yet another appeal to end hostilities. In his appeal, the Secretary General invoked the tradition of the Olympic QC, which he said he has called on all parties everywhere to stop hostilities throughout the course of games. Mr. Guterres' last statement on Ethiopia was issued on January 19, in which he said the African Union High Representative for the Horn of Africa, Obasanjo, to exchange views with him on the conflict in Ethiopia following his latest visit to Addis Ababa and Makle, the capital of the regional state of Tigray. And he said he was delighted that after our year of armed conflict, which has affected millions of people across Ethiopia and the rest of the region, there is now a demonstrable effort to make peace. However, there has been no tangible progress since then and Ethiopian officials have continued denying that there were talks to end hostilities, but on 29th January, the leader of Tigray State Debretson Gabriel Michael has told the BBC that there are encouraging signs in the peace negotiations to end civil war. And however, the Ethiopian government has not publicly acknowledged the presence of talks with authorities in Tigray. So we were so far the latest update. For more latest update, please subscribe channel. Thanks for watching.